So um, that's a tough question because some schools are doing really, really well. And, uh, and then there are many schools that look just like the school I went to. And uh, working at Intel is wonderful for me to see this other side. I have children of my own and I can see what you need in a workplace. And what's really clear is the world is changing so quickly right now. Learning to learn is so key because you're having to adapt and change and the world is changing just by the minute. Uh, and that has a great impact. And so the kind of school experience I had isn't really appropriate. When you think about schooling and particularly public schooling as an example, there's a socializing institution component of that, how to participate in your, your national country, in your democracy, in your whatever is happening where you live. So there's the local aspect, but jobs now really aren't local anymore. We live in a global economy, and so understanding the impact of that and what that means in the workplace. And so uh, I think schools have lagged in, in terms of keeping up with the pace of change. And not all schools, as I said, there are some brilliant schools, but if you're thinking, uh, many of them still are on a journey and they're very open to the journey, but their institutions and change is challenging. Uh, but what's very clear is a company like Intel is still looking for the best and brightest, of course, but the definition of best and brightest when I was a child versus now has changed tremendously. And schools need to respond to that because the other responsibility schools have is to provide an appropriate education. And whether it's school to school or school to work, that has changed. It, uh, you know, we're really at the top of the century still, and the pace of change and innovation is not slowing down. And so we really need to think about that and, and the role of education and, uh, and also to recognize that uh, we need to realize the potential of everybody in order to keep moving forward. And with the kinds of technologies you're seeing here, there's no reason, there's opportunity for everybody. And children that may not be good in the way I learned, which was you know book driven and, and very didactic, uh, now with technology, not only can you do it anywhere, anytime, but anyway. So if I recognize you're not understanding something, I can, if you're auditory and visual, you can see it in a video, you can be hands on. There are so many more ways to help everybody be successful. And then there's also the aspect of incorporating new methodologies, new instructional methodologies uh, in with new information. So uh, schools really need to embrace collaborative behaviors. I work on a team with 10 people. We each have very unique skill sets and the sum is really more than any one of us okay. alone but our ability to work together and truly value that and get away from the, these were my results for the year and this is what I did, it really is a we mentality because it takes a team. Work is much more complex now, so distributed intelligence where you have an expertise, I have an expertise, and together we can solve the problem and alone we could not. Uh, and so really embracing that within classrooms versus keep your eyes on your tests, keep your eyes on your work. That's not the real world. In the real world, if you were challenged, you would go out, gather resources that would help you solve the problem. So it really is understanding whether what you need is another person or more information, and then bringing these things together and, and working in a very productive fashion to solve very big problems.